And now at 11, imagine spending thousands of dollars to book a dream cruise vacation, then packing your bags and making your way to port, only to be told that you won't be allowed on the ship. And that was reality for several families yesterday when they tried to board the Caribbean Princess Cruise. Officials told them they couldn't get on because of issues with their passports. But tonight, those passengers say Princess Cruise representatives gave them the wrong information. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola joins us live from Port Everglades. And Gabby, dozens of passengers contacted you. What are they saying? That's right, Naja. Dozens more passengers are still contacting me, saying that they're furious, and it's all because Princess Cruise Lines, they said, gave them the wrong information. This was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime. A trip of a lifetime turned into a never ending headache. Lori Johnson and her family came from Chicago, but earlier this month, Lori noticed that her passport was going to expire while on the cruise. So she called Princess Cruise Lines. The Princess Cruise Line representative told me that everything was fine. I didn't need to renew my passport until I came back from the trip. But when she got to the port in Fort Lauderdale, she was instantly denied. She couldn't even get on the boat and was told she needed a valid passport. Michael O'Connor, who drove from Ohio for his honeymoon cruise, had the same exact issue. And they said, well, if I had a certified copy of my birth certificate, that would be adequate. So when he was denied, employees referred him to a generic help desk number. We have been transferred. 50 times. We have spent 10 or 12 hours on the phone with Princess Cruz at about 10 different phone numbers. We've been hung up on. We've been transferred and the calls are disconnected. We've been put on perma hold. So every traveler I spoke to said Princess Cruz representatives told them they didn't need to worry about a passport over the phone and they'd accept alternative forms of identification. But when these seasoned cruise goers asked to get those statements in writing, if we we have asked for things in writing. We've been denied that. Christina Weber drove her large family from Minnesota to go on the 10 day cruise to multiple countries. We were all denied. Her fiance is wheelchair bound, so this was devastating. My fiance just is battling kidney cancer, so we were very excited because during his uh, treatments and procedures, this was the one thing he was excited to do. She says finding accommodations for her family can be as especially difficult and when they asked the cruise line for help on where they can go and they said to uh, search the internet and use Google. Use Google. Uh, they were just absolutely amazed with how they've been treated. You can only imagine what they must be going through. So I reached out to Princess Cruise Lines. We've been after them all day, and I finally received a response no less than 20 minutes ago. And this representative said that they've never heard of so many passengers being denied boarding. I asked them what can be done, and I'm reading this right now. They're saying passengers need to take responsibility for their mistakes, saying that they needed to check the website and see where the passport was required. Guys, 